Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk to you very briefly about vibrato and it's a term that is used a lot um, amongst young people training in musical theatre. The first thing that is to say is that there are in my book two forms of vibrato. One is what um, people call a wobble and one is true vibrato. Now, the important thing to note is that we don't believe that true vibrato can be achieved um, until puberty, at least. Um, and that's to do with the, the little muscles that are working. It's a very, very acute um, or minimal muscle um, activation that happens, so to speak, um, when we produce a true vibrato. And so very small child voices and it doesn't matter how old you are um, as a child you will have a smaller larynx that's fact um, and it's not um, it's not thought of that children can produce true vibrato so we therefore assume that it's a wobble um, sometimes that term is probably misused and probably can upset people as well in, in ways, but don't be upset by that. Um, vibrato is a matter of taste and style, preference, opinion and so on and so forth. So some directors will love it, some won't love it, some will want a bit, some won't. It's according to style, so um, the genre of musical that you're doing it will be very dependent on whether you do or don't use vibrato or use a mixture of and without um it will depend on the emotion that you're singing in um you know if i i'm very upset then i'm gonna have a wobble in my voice um if i'm really really excited i might have a wobble in my voice as well um so please don't be upset or disheartened if you are told you haven't yet got vibrato it really doesn't matter and the good news is that you can actually um train yourself to have a really great wobble what we don't want to do is exaggerate the wobble so what I like to say to people is if I do this you're gonna to have to forgive the silly faces now you can hear a wobble and um, we probably don't want any more of a wobble than that because what we don't want if you listen to some um, late recordings of Judy Garland we don't want that kind of somewhere over the rainbow not that she sounded anything like that, the legend of Judy Garland, um, but I'm obviously exaggerating and giving an example. We probably don't want that kind um, of level of shake or wobble um, at the moment. It's not really fashionable. Um, it's not to say it won't come back, mind, um, as fashion that is. So um, if you want to shake your hands, you'll kind of feel like a wobble. That, that happens if we go, uh, uh, that kind of level is probably useful um, as a training point. So um, I've no idea what this actually does, but I find it really effective for getting people to start to play with that wobble that's actually quite useful for training trill as well. If you're a classical singer or if you're doing a lot of legit singing, that um, trill sound between two notes um, oh, I haven't put my keyboard on, so I haven't got that ready to play for you. But if you've got that ah, between notes, um, it's very common in classical singing where you're trilling notes. If you play an instrument, you'll have trilled. The voice can do that as well. That would be another talk for another day. But, um, yeah, if you do that... Ah, ah, You can hear there where that went a little bit crazy, but you know, this is playtime. Uh, uh, yeah, or you might find. Uh, helps you or sometimes just shaking your hands I personally don't feel it like this but some children do um, younger children tend to ah, and you can hear the adaption of from shaking to the slight wobble I was going to say trill then confuse you all um, slight wobbly sound um, so I guess just play around again have a little play set yourself where you're comfortable 
try the shake, try the handshakes, try this, see what works for you. Please remember, um, my sound is going to be very different to yours. You're all different ages to me, um, I assume anyway. Um, small children, if you're a teenager, if you're a young adult, your voice um, will pick up and sound very different to mine. Don't forget that everything you do, you want to um, work it throughout. Um, but the the only warning I'd give you is not to give it that good old shake like ah, 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 ah. <laughs> and I notice that puts my voice in a different place anyway but so um how might we choose to use vibrato I'm just going to sing you a couple of examples of songs where um it's not necessarily vibrato. Again, if we had a panel of judges, of singing teachers from different genres, they'd probably all hear different things. But for, for, but for example, if I do... If I'm a monster and it's true, then there is no more explaining left to do. This is my house. This is my house. It isn't much, but it is enough for me. Once I had a secret love that lived within the part of me. Um, let's think of some other examples. The tiniest lifeboat with people I know. The tiniest lifeboat of people I know. She used to be mine. That's an example of um, how you might be asked to hold the vibrato and then bring it on at the end. We often see people doing this when they want us to do it. She used to be mine. Um, let's think of some other ones. Uh, time and again I've longed for adventure. Something to make my heart beat the faster. Dee -dee 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 -dee, I never really knew. So they call me a cockeyed optimist, immature and incurably green. I have heard people rant and rave and bellow that we're done and I might as well be dead. Okay, um, bring it a bit more contemporary again. Jamie is over and Jamie is gone. Jamie decided it's time to move on. Jamie has secrets he's building upon. But I'm still hurting. Astonishing at last. And those are all things that I would say for me is a wobble, not a vibrato. So you see, it's a very, very fine line because a lot of you would listen to that and say, oh, that's vibrato. But for me as a teacher, and I, as I say, other teachers might hear different and might label that vibrato. But for me, what I just did there, knowing what I know, is wobble, is not vibrato in all instances. Um, so again, then we've got choices. So for example, I can do... My hills are alive with the sound of music. And if I try and take it out, this is where it becomes a choice or it becomes a style or a genre specific or a direction. My hills are alive with the sound of music. I couldn't help but put a little bit in the end there. But you see how it's really down to um, choice, preference um, and likes and dislikes there. Some people would like one, some people would like the other. Um, for the younger ones of you, where is love? Does it fall from skies above? Had nothing in. But some people don't like that. Some people love that. Some people like, where is love? Does it fall from skies above? 
Okay, so there's some real quick demonstrations of what I would say is probably my equivalent of a wobble. And hopefully that gives you a little bit of confidence to play around with that. And your vibrato will develop. Um, again, it goes back to really, 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 you've got to be working the right muscles with the right exercises um, with a teacher so that you can develop that. Um, and I believe the sooner you start working it, the easier it becomes. Once it comes, it just seems to come. There's not a lot of research for me to pull out um, to really help you. Um, but certainly for teachers um, that are watching this video, Ginevra Williams has a nice little chapter in her book for teaching young voices. Um, and I believe that people like Lynn Gackle and John Cooksey may have some things to say, which are all choral related research. Um, however, um, you probably will find something really interesting there to correlate to your theatre um, teaching. I hope that's helped a little bit. It's really... Um, a video to encourage you lots of singers come in the room and say to me I need to work on my vibrato it isn't something that happens overnight it's not like working for that um pirouette it's like working for the triples and the quadruples and the fives and the sixes it's gonna come with lots of repetition lots of technical work you know if we put into action those of you that are dancers how hard we have to work to get those triple turns it's about the releve it's about the floor pressure it's about the arms it's about the leg snatch it's about so many different things and you've got to have that patience with your singing as well it will take time to develop if you have any questions, you can email me ac at ameliacarvoice.com. You can send me a text or a call and the number is on my website www.ameliacarvoice.com. Uh, you can reach me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and you can also check out the new website for my master classes for teachers and students you'll also find their courses on performance anxiety for both teachers and students um, and if you want to have a 10 percent discount for your first course then you can email me too for that code the website for courses is www mtmasterclassuk.co.uk okay it's been a pleasure to have you with me today i hope you've enjoyed today's video let me have your feedback and hopefully i'll see you again soon bye